Hey guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this terrific Thursday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you can, can you please like and subscribe? Even hit that notification bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you can, please, if you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up and even drop a line. I love positive feedback. That's always welcome. And namaste and thank you for the support. And if I said namaste again, I always like to double it up sometimes because sometimes we need that. But anyways... <laughs> If you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the support, love, and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you also, and namaste. Guys, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Unleash Your Inner Demons. Today, I'm listening to, um, it's relaxing sleep music uh, with the soft piano meditation. Um... Guys, before I even get started on my video, I guess I have to start this up again since people just don't understand and get the memo because this is when the INFJ and the High Oka impasse steps in. I am an open book to a certain extent. You know, I, I always tell you guys about how I'm healing on different things when it comes to, you know, past hurt, pain, you know, emotional abuse, mental abuse, and, um, narcissistic abuse i do uh talk about stuff like that that's in my past and some things that are in my present but i keep having people come at me well actually one person um that one to start off yesterday and then start off again last night and then when i'm waking up this morning okay i try to be nice and polite but then since you want to keep bringing yourself in my circle like that i bring it here this is how i do this you know, when I try to be nice and polite and ask you respect, you know, the fact of my family. Number one, I do not talk about my Aunt Tika, my Uncle Omar, my Aunt Sharon, my Aunt Noreen, and my Uncle Elgin. I do not bring them up. I will not talk about them. I will not discuss any lawyer's situation. I will not talk about any family situation. That is a very sensitive subject. With things that are going on, especially in the media... And things are going on in court stuff I cannot talk about. So that don't mean when I wake up in the morning and if I ask you to respect my privacy and you can just go ahead. Now, if you want to ask me anything that goes on in the videos that I'm talking about right now, no problem. I have no problem with talking about that. But when it comes to my family and I ask you to respect that and the next thing you know, I wake up in the morning and you have a friend request on Facebook trying to pry again. This is what happens. Okay, this is when my INFJ and my Hayoka empath steps in. Okay, I try to be nice, but sometimes people want to hit that itch button, and I'm trying not to go there. Okay, I try not to go there. This is why I'm talking about unleashing my inner demons. Okay, I, I'm waking up in a positive, you know, positive thing, and I'm just like, wow, you know, I'll try to leave yesterday and yesterday. But when I keep seeing you come at me like this, this is when I do that. I never said I was a medium. I never said that. I said I had a medium gift. I don't go out like Tyler Henry or uh, Teresa Caputo and do things like that on a normal day basis. Now, it has happened to me twice, okay, twice, that I've had spirits come to me twice. Once was the situation that I told you guys about when I helped this woman because I don't know what she was planning to do and it felt like something that she was I don't know if she was going to end her life or do anything but I knew this woman was doing basically would have did anything to get back with her child and so I helped her the second time I've got into a situation like that about this narcissistic behavior where it almost got to the point where it was going to get physical then I had I don't know if anybody has ever watched um ghost adventures it's on TLC channel. Back a couple of years ago, there was a lady named Debbie uh, Costello or Castiello. And she she was an activist for domestic violence. She has presented herself to me. And it just so happened to be on her one year anniversary, she came to me and told me, oh, you know, you're one of those special ones that they keep talking about over there on the other side. It's a pleasure to meet you. But then she showed me the gift that what she went through are her last moments which is something I would never ever want to ever see and I will never go into detail about that but there's things that they did not put out in the media that I did not want to know about 
okay? And this woman had showed me how she had passed. And it was, you know, and I, I cried. I really seriously cried. And she, you know, and I felt her give me a hug. And she's like, no, I don't want you to cry for me. But I want you to be able to keep on doing what you're doing. Do not stop what you're doing. And she told me that. Do not stop what you're doing. You are doing a great job. But do not stop what you're doing. So that's the second time that that woman is, you know, that's the second time I've seen that woman. Okay. But I never said I was a medium. I never said that. I don't channel the dead or anything like that. There's just certain things if spirits come to me when they decide to come to me. So we're going to end it on that. But please do not get yourself blocked from my channel coming at me because I tell people don't come for me like that because this is how I bring you into my world. Okay. But anyways, when you're dealing with stuff like this and you're, you know, like I said, I understand when you're doing channels like this and, you know, YouTube channels like this and you you have a situation like mine where you're related to somebody. I understand you're going to have people come at you crazy or they're going to ask you crazy questions. But please, out of respect to me and my family, do not ask me about if I talk to my family or not, my biological family, because I will not. That's totally off limits. I'm an open book to a certain extent. But if you want to ask me about anything that I talk about that's pertaining to my videos or you want to drop a positive comment pertaining to my videos, I have no problem with that. But stop crying. Please, stop crying. But I'm going to end it on that note. Okay. So, releasing your inner demons, guys. You know, we, we fight with them every day. We fight with our egos every day. You know, we go through things. We, we could, could be going through abuse. We could be going through a job loss. We could be going through homeless situations. You know, anything could pop up. But that's when faith steps in and tells you, you know what? Let it go. This is what I'm doing. Let it go. That's why I just said what I said and let it go. Because I'm going to continue to have a good day. Rosalind got her hair done. You know, got a little makeup on and feel good about herself. But, you know, when you're doing positive things like that, I understand. There's going to be some questions and concerns, and I understand that. But, like I said with other people, when, when it's need time and divine timing for you to know anything about anything else that's doing with me and my father, you will, you will know when the world knows. But I'm not going to give you an exclusive. No, I'm not going to do that. So, you know, when you go through things... Just relax, relate, release. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing this morning. I'm burning candles and I'm like, Lord, help me take the wheel. Okay, take the wheel. Because I'm not going to let this get me down today. Because it's, it's just like so many good, positive things are going on for you. So you got to release those inner demons. Okay, you got to release those. And just know there's always a better tomorrow. There's always another day to start all over again. There's always You can always do a do-over. You know what I'm saying? To make it for a better day. So... It's just like, guys, when you go through stuff, let it go. You know, if you can't change it, you can't change other people. You can't. But you only can change yourself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm changing myself. So, um, you know, try to be creative with your things. You know, try to find something. Like, I, like I'm listening to my music and burning candles. And, you know, I say a meditation prayer and stuff like that to protect myself. That's what you have to do. You know, even like I was telling you guys the other day, do Tai Chi. You know, women, make yourself up. Get yourself a cute hairstyle if you can, if you're feeling bad about yourself. Or you just want to change up something just to shake it up a little bit. Do that. You know, and it's good. You know, like when you guys know I come out with my videos, I come out with different, you know, I come out with different hairstyles. Some days I go without makeup and there's some days I do come out with makeup and stuff like that. Make yourself feel good about yourself. If you work out, you know, dance around. Because, see, I don't like exercising too much because that's too boring to me. Especially if I do something too repetitive, I get bored. I guess that's that Gemini coming out of me because, you know, I only can do it so much before I get bored. So, it's just like me. I never get tired of dancing. So, I dance and, you know, I, I meditate. And then it just, when you, I don't know what it is about music, it just uplifts you. And it just depends on what kind of music you listen to, though. So, it's just like with me, I listen to classical. There are sometimes I, I even listen to corn and slipknot. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what it is, you know? But it's just like when it comes to that heavy metal stuff, I just don't stay in it because that can bring your frequency down. So, if you, if anybody listens to heavy metal and stuff like that, please do not listen to it too long. I, I've heard um, it's not really good to listen to because it can really 
bring your frequency down. So I just try to always keep my spirits up. And that's why I like making these videos for you guys. Because I never know what you guys are going through. And y'all might need to hear that video today. Just like you might need to hear this one. It's just when you go through stuff. Raise your hands and just say, you know what? If I can't change it. Even though sometimes that's hard to do. It's okay. You know, if you have one of those urges where you have that, that past vomit that wants to come up, and I, I haven't said that word in a long time, that past vomit, you know, you have those memories that want to come up and regurgitate. Just, you know, release it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Because, you know, sometimes I'll try to think about something else. Don't fight it. Just recognize it for what it is and release it. Because there's nothing you can do. There's no thing in the past that you can change. Because trust me, if there was a thing that people can go time travel and go change something, there there would be so many things I would change. So many things I would change. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I'm about to make another video. But I just had to release that. So I hope I didn't cause anybody a bad day. You know, I don't try to send out negative vibes or anything like that, guys. But I just had to address that today. I just really did. So, I will talk to you later. Much love, peace, and be wild. And then, like I said, drop a comment as long as it's positive. I like those. I like positive feedback. Even give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you, you feel like I'm being too much for you, you know you can always unsubscribe. I will not take it personal. Okay? And I will talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.